Hey y'all. Um, this is my first outing since my surgery. Well, my first real outing. Yesterday, Joe had to take me to the emergency room because I woke up and um, I'll show you, but maybe I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it right there. But my calf started turning colors, turning gray, so I was scared and called the doctor and the doctor thought maybe I might have a blood clot. So he took me in um, to the emergency room, no blood clot. They couldn't really explain the bruising. Um, and I was swollen. And today I woke up and some of that bruising is gone. So I don't know what was going on. But we're going to the grocery store. Try not to run over anybody. Very excited to be out and to get some food because there's hardly anything in the house. Joe's been working, taking care of me. Wow, in here. Gave me a shower. Um, so I actually got myself dressed. I'm, I am commando because I cannot, it's hard to pull down your pants to go to the bathroom. So I'm hoping I don't have to go to the bathroom. Because I went to the bathroom before we left. I want some salad. I'm going to get some spinach. Can we get two bags of those spinach and two bags of those uh, spring mix? And make me another salad. Joe's been cooking and doing what he can. My son's been cooking. He's gonna want some guacamole. He likes guacamole. You got the spicy kind last time. This, this says classic. Is that what you want? Because this is. Yeah, and you said it was hot. Oh, they got the sprayers going. That's good. Uh, I think that might be plantain. Gotta get out of the way. Can you get some of those avocados? They're called reds. Oh, can you get? You want to try some? Y'all ever seen a red banana? You want to get some? Give me a couple of those avocados so I can have them as a snack. I don't like sending Joe to the grocery store by himself because he doesn't get what I need. What is this? I've seen that commit Some kind of organic classic thing. So can you get a bag of baby carrots, please? Bag of baby carrots so we can make a roast. Let me tell you all, if you do not have an Instapot, you need to get an Instapot because that has saved us more than once to make a good meal. I don't know, I feel like I'm walking people. They're real nice. Nobody says anything. I've got an onion. Let's see if I can get a bag. Y'all ever get these stupid bags? I get them. Then I try to open them. When I'm on the wrong end, when I get to the right end, and I can't look. I, I can't even separate the damn things. I gotta get it to Joe so he can do it. Can you grab another one? Um, which one's that? No, okay. Get another one. Oh, excuse me, sir. I'm gonna get some banana bananas. Banana. Banana.
got it? I got it. Thank you. I don't want to cause an avalanche. Be bad. So, y'all, I don't know what you think, but I think we're getting ready for another shutdown here before too long. So, enjoy it while it lasts. I've been on a shutdown since breaking this stupid leg. This is about all the pressure I'm going to be able to put on it for a while. Um, what is that? A croissant pizza by Giorgiorno? What is that? Nastiness at its best. Whoa. Do you want to get any waffles or anything? You know, last time we went to the grocery store, we both swear I picked up one of those shaker things for, you know, Bisquick pancakes, and we can't find them. And I want some chocolate chip pancakes. We're going to have to, I guess, get another shaker pancake thing. We always look for the BOGOs and things on sale. So I live in a town where there's two grocery stores. <clears throat> this used to be a Harvey's and it's now Winn-Dixie and they redid it. It looks really nice. And uh, a Hitchcock's. Hitchcock's. And it sucks. <coughs> we're, the little town that we lived in before, there was a Publix not too far away. And really, Publix is a pleasure. And I miss, I miss shopping at Publix. Want any shrimps? Sh shrimps? Sorry, I won't run you over, sir. I'll run him over any day. Now, you, that's another story. Uh, what he say? It's usually how it goes. <laughs> so. Joe's gonna get me some microwave meals so I can get in there and cook them while he's at work. It's hard getting around in our little mobile home. Well, it's not a little, it's a double wide, y'all. We live in a double wide, and um, it's still kind of hard to get around. I love those banquet um, chicken pot pies. Can I have some? There are four for five dollars. They used to be ten for a dollar. Uh, ten for ten, I mean. My brain confused it. We have some meatballs in the freezer outside. I can make some stroking off. Beef stroking off. And I could, or I can make some if you want. Um, you, well, I say I. I can tell you how to do it. Or you, we can get those meatballs out of the freezer outside. Mm -hmm. And um, you beat me to it. Subs. Meatball subs. Do we have grape jelly? Well, then we probably need to get some grape jelly and barbecue sauce. He likes my meatball subs. And really, like everything, everything that I used to make in the crock pot, we can make in the Instapot and what's nice. You can do it when it's frozen. Uh, jam has fruit in it and the jelly is the juice. Well, some people call it preserves, but jam has got the, the fruit in it and jelly is like the juices, like we used to make when, that when we were canning. Let me go around here. Look, oh, y'all. They put those, uh, like those freeze dried peas, little snacks, in with the little hot They're potato chips. Let's be real, put them in the potato chips. All right, is there any soda on sale? Oh, cool. Looks like Dr. Pepper, uh, Dr. Pepper. I gotta have my Dr. Pepper. 
So we used to buy cans and we were wasting a lot of um, soda because you open a can, you can't figure out where you left it. So you open another can or you open a can, you don't finish it and you go back and it's flat. So if you want to save some money on soda, go back to the bottles. Go, go back to the plastic bottles. And then you're only putting one thing in the landfill instead of what? How many cans they got in there? They put 12 cans in a 12? Is it 12? Not a 24 pack. And I gotta get me some wieners. I like wieners. I like the ones with the cheese in them. Cheese dogs are on sale. We get some cheese dogs. Get one cheese dog and one Angus beef. Do you really think it's Angus beef? And what part of the Angus is the beef from? Look, I always leave Joe. Uh, he's always he's always slower than me, but he remembers things that I forget. Like I forgot I need water. So since my surgery, I used to not be a big water drinker. I'll go through stages. Why am I? Am I so since my surgery, I've been craving water. I don't know why, but I've been drinking a lot of water. And I have lost some weight because I can't get my fat ass up as often with this broken leg and go into the kitchen and get snacks because they're hard to reach. I want some, I want some of the cheese dog wieners and Angus beef wieners. I'm not really sure what part of the Angus, the beef <laughs> wieners come from. But, um, I can tell you where it didn't come from because I've seen a lot of Angus beef wieners. They're way bigger than that. <laughs> An Angus cow's wieners bigger than that? Much. Yeah. Do you think they, they uh, sell that to eat? I mean, they sell tongues and everything. You think, um, I mean, and I know they. they sausage? <laughs> no, seriously, like what is mountain oysters? That's the nuts. So, if that's the nuts, are you listening? I'm listening to your Do you really think that they. My <laughs> ridiculousness. You know it's not ridiculousness. The wiener. The wiener. Do you think that. I'm sure it gets ground up into something. Uh, maybe it's ground up in those Angus wieners we just bought. If I don't know about it, I'm all right. Well, you know about it now. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to think about that. It's just like we have the friends of ours that own a Mexican restaurant that were originally from Cambodia. And, um, you know, they told us the Cambodians, you, you eat every part of an animal. You just don't waste it. And so they brought out me out a salad. And Joe was like, I'm, I don't want to eat. He doesn't really like salads. He'll eat them every once in a while. But this salad had, what did it have in it? It had the ears in it and snout in it. And I'm going to tell you, it is probably the best salad I have ever had. But Joe just kept looking at me eating it and couldn't, just couldn't. Um, but they gave us other stuff too. And it were, Joe ate it and it was really good. Um, cookies? Why do you need cookies for? Um, Oreos are on sale. If you want them, Oreos and milk. No, y'all. <laughs> Please, we got into this, you know, you get into these phases of things you eat in bed. One time there was <laughs> get into phases of things you eat in bed. <laughs> anyway, you know, your snack and, uh, you know, we go through phases where we get the big bags of M&Ms and you sit there and shovel them in your mouth while you're watching TV in bed before you go to bed. And um, that's not good. And then we went through doing that with Oreos. Before you know it, don't you work through the whole one little sleeve dip thing in there of Oreos. Dunking them. And I don't drink the milk after I'm done. It, it grosses me out. But I'll dip some Oreos. So, anyway. 
Oh, look at that stuff. You can put on your um, popcorn. Popcorn, salt, ranch, kettle corn, kettle corn shaker. I love kettle corn. I don't think that would be as good as real kettle corn. Wow, that's pretty cool. The th things you see when you go to the grocery store. I used to be one of those extreme couponers. You know, Joe lost his job and I was the only one working and boy, if you ever have a chance and you're on my Facebook, go back and look. I mean, extreme couponer and to the point that people, sometimes they were giving me money back. All right, now we know we're getting the shaker. There it is. We've got one missing somewhere. Our oldest son helped us unpack the groceries and he doesn't remember seeing it and we have no idea what happened to it. And I know I picked it up because just like Joe shook it whenever he, you know, because if it's a shaker, you gotta shake it when you pick it up. I remember doing all that. I didn't put it back because I then headed over and got my chocolate chips or chocolate chip pancakes. And we have syrup, right? Did we? Okay. I wanna make sure we weren't imagining everything. I got behind Joe. I have to get behind him because if I don't get behind him, I leave him and I'm like two r rows down and, and I can't find him. Look at all the stuff he picked up and I got bananas, healthy bananas. And then look at all that stuff he's got in his cart. I'm a healthier shopper. This is another reason I don't like to get behind him because he stops. He just randomly freaking stops. Bologna? Are we out of blowing? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, let's get some bologna. Sure Gotta have some bologna. You live in the south, you eat bologna. I haven't had a fried bologna sandwich. I like fried bologna sandwiches. Just picking up some bread. Getting even your BOGO. Buy one, get one. BOGO. I mean, if they're gonna give it to you free for free, you might as well get it. If you waste it, you waste it. No, I'm kidding. We'll put it in the freezer. Sometimes, um, if we are nice and we we'll give it, we give it to people that live near us. Hence the in-laws. We haven't got given them anything in a while because I don't think they like us very much anymore. Oh, oh gotta get some new rules. Are you getting the bow ties? No. We like the bow ties. Did you like the spaghetti with the spaghetti? Yeah, it was all right. It's fine. I don't care as long as it has noodles in it. It's kind of like when you go to Taco Bell. There's different things to pick from, but when it comes down all to it, it's, it's, all it's all the same. Yeah, Do we have minute rice? Yeah. Okay. Ask me that every time we come and we don't eat any. Yes, we do. <laughs> you might not know that we do, but yes, we do. I put it in when I make the cream of chicken um, soup with rice. One day you're going to say yes, and we're going to be out, and I'm going to need it. I need a manager override on 6th Street. Can you get some um, beefy onion lifting soup? Packets. Sounds disgusting. No. You don't seem to mind the Use it. Yes, please. All right. So what is that? Natural butter chicken. Um, no corn. I don't want no corn in it. Which one of these is on sale? Natural better. Oh, the grocers. Okay, so is this it? Well, of course they are. All right, I'm just getting the line. That's a staple in our house. Onions and green peppers and chicken broth. Family 
family size thing of chicken, cream of chicken because I can always make a meal with that, with chicken and the rice. Um, all right. Ooh, yum. Pickles. I like pickles. Joe will not eat pickles. Just won't do it. Won't do it. I want some of the small pickles. The gherkin. The gherkin koshers right there. These? Yeah. Petite snack crunchers? Yeah, they can't call them gherkin because I think the last six uh copyrighted that but you ever have a gherkin turd whenever you gotta go to the bathroom and you strain a little bit and all that comes out is a small turd and it kind of looks like a gherkin pickle so we call them gherkin turds at our house just a little bit of tidbit information i think we have um i might have some lemon squares at home like you like Joe's not too much in the bacon. He's just the minimalist whenever it comes to his cooking. Um, yeah, unless I, I mean, sometimes you. you grits and eggs. Yeah, and you did. Raisin toast this morning. Joe's a good breakfast maker. I need some au jus. And, um, we're gonna, I think I got some ranch dressing home in the packet. Um, but I'm not sure. So you might want to get one. So, no, it wasn't. That was uh, vegetable something or another. I looked. I looked for it while we were in that aisle, and I didn't see it. Well, we were we were just in this. This is a salad dressing aisle, honey. I just passed the salad dressing. I I didn't look. You no, you meet me here. I gotta get some meat. All right, we're gonna take a break. Minute. Or he's me. I can pick up some hamburger meat. I'm looking for chuck eye, and I want one of those roasts for pot roast. Those look good up there. What is that? Yeah, what is that? Is that better than what you're picking up? For really good cut and I think they only get three or four out of a head of cattle so sometimes they're hard to find did you find it all right we'll get it and they're really good um those ribeye there's some I don't know if you want ribeyes but they're they're really fatty and the thing is is the chuck and then, but the chuck eyes that we get, they're thick and they don't, they're not as fatty as a ribeye. And ribeyes are more expensive. Hey, you could have got 10 boxes of noodles for $10. I'll tell you what, there was one point that Joe and I had not gone to the grocery store in so long. We came to this grocery store and we're like, what the hell happened? Because it was Harvey's. And then the next thing you know, we walk in and it's a totally different store. And it's set up totally different. And you know that it takes time to do that. And the floors have never been so clean. That's how long it had been since we go to the grocery store. We probably go to the grocery store once a month. Because we both hate to do it. We skipped a month because we did the New Orleans trip. Yeah. No, don't need any. I might need some of those. My knee's starting to bother me. Freaking it. I hate getting old. Kneecap is thinning. Apparently my bones aren't as strong as they used to be because I fall and break it. Oh my gosh, I broke it. Good. Um, no, not unless we need big dog food. 
they go through it. The puppies have their food, the babies. Yes, they gotta have treats. We're almost out. I think our dogs eat better than we do. That's, um, I get those at Sam's. That's what I got them, but I get them at, usually get them at Sam's. They are spoiled. I don't like, I like getting them those nudges because they're like real, like duck and stuff. Um, well, well, they got bacon strips on sale for $9.99. We'll give them some bacon strips. Bacon. They'll get a. Uh, Made with real bacon. They'll get junk food this time. These, they, they love these, but then our big dog steals them. Chicken. Yes, thighs. Um, two things of thighs. So we eat a lot of chicken thighs. Um, I don't like the breasts because it's usually dry and, I don't know, it's, we eat it to kind of feel rubbery in my mouth and I don't think it has anything to do with the way I cook it necessarily because it's juicy. I just don't like the way it feels. Mm. Laundry detergent is free and clear. Ultra free and clear. This happens to us all the freaking time at this grocery store. I need to get that's what I ought to do because I really don't need the um, laundry detergent. But if I can get a rain check, then I can use it the next time I'm here. So yeah, I don't, I haven't taken the time to do the extreme couponing, but if you ever want to know how to do it, I can share some things with you. But it does take quite a bit of time to do. It is worth it. I just, they changed it whenever, there was a lot of coupon fraud whenever it was really, you know, up and coming and people were doing videos on it and stuff. People started doing coupon fraud and then some of the stores, the major stores started changing um, their policies and um, it just wasn't as good of deals as I was getting before, and Joe went back to work, and I was taking on a few extra things at my job as a teacher, and it just kind of fell to the wide wayside, but we still look for the deals for sure. See, I lost Joe. I don't know what he was doing. I think I, did I see him back or something? I may have. Yeah, I don't think I saw him back. Um, Joe was just kind of like, you know, I want to get a rain check on their free and clear laundry detergent, BOGO, because they're out. And we don't really need any right now, but, huh? I don't, I think so. Most stores do. I don't know. I haven't been able to reach it. You, you've been, you better not make me run <laughs> on toilet paper. Oh, y'all. I went to the bathroom, right? I can oh, I got I can't keep my weight off my foot. And it is hard to wipe, but that's besides the story. Huh, in there and you know, having what I just heard today called a sit to, which means you know, we're going number two, so I sit to. And um Joe was out auctioning with Susanna and I look over and there's hardly any toilet paper on the road. Like you can't tell if it's that last one or two sheets that is glued to the um, roll or if it's going to give you enough. Lucky I had enough because I didn't take the phone into the bathroom. I don't take my phone into the bathroom with me. 
I got a job to do, right? So I go in there and do my job. And luckily there was enough toilet paper. I had been known to use the cardboard roll that's left to wipe with if there is nothing left. And then I have to take out the trash, all that good stuff. Oh, Briars is BOGO, honey. I like Briars ice cream. And again, okay, we must need to get up earlier on Sunday and beat the, well, we were up early. We just didn't beat the church crowd. Well, they have butter pecan like you like. The old, oh, there, they have mine too. But they have butter pecan. And they're, they, I thought they were out, but there's my Neapolitan. That's my favorite. I used to work at um, an ice cream shop called Velvet Freeze. So it was one of the bigger competitors with Baskin Robbins. And um, I got so tired of ice cream, it wasn't even funny. It took me years. To want to eat ice cream, but I could tell you, I could put three or four malts or shakes on the shake machine and be dipping something else. I was like, you know, what is that show? Cocktail, cocktail with uh, Tom Cruise, where he's in the bar and doing all that kind of crazy stuff. I was like the cocktail of velvet freeze, and then maybe the reason went on, uh, most of them went on business, but the gentleman that I worked for couldn't keep from spending his profits personally and had all kinds of issues. Do we still have cheese? Government cheese? <laughs> That's what I call these. Slice, slice cheese. cheese, government cheese. Well, we've been eating out of <laughs> He's going to charge us. He'll add it to our tab. My son is living at home buying his own groceries and he eats our groceries sometimes. And to ask him if he can have something of his, oh dear. See, I would rather have that kind of cheese. For me. I know, but it still tastes better. So we get the stuff with the preservatives that isn't good for us because it lasts longer. And we do need some shredded cheese. You're gonna need some Parmesan and some like cold beer or something like that. Whatever's on sale. And then you got the mild cheddar. You can get our forced, what's a four state cheddar? Does that mean it came from four different states? What? Let's get a Wisconsin char. New York short, California mild, and Vermont short. Huh. They brought it all into one place and like I went to all these places and got it or did they grow their own cheese? Like is it, like did they have like some kind of fancy recipe for the cheese really? from <laughs> it's kind of curious, like wine, you know, comes from different places where they make different things. Joe is no fine. We have really talked about why tits would they have to They lactate. The Romans do. We need to. Yeah. Can we get some of the red cap? No. How are we on? We've got butter. Yeah, we got butter. I thought I saw some in the door. I'm not talking about your country crock. I'm, huh? Did you say you need country crock? Did you say you need a country crock? Yep. That's not butter. That's butter. No, it's not. But two for five. Do they have, where you can get two for five? They have, um, they used to have that honey cinnamon one that was good. I haven't seen that in a while, but I haven't looked for it either. Did you get chips? Like regular chips? Tater chips? Yeah. yeah. Dipping tater chips. Alright, now. Do you want any sliced turkey? No. 
All right. to you you know what do you want to do for dinner i want some of these muffins okay i want some chocolate chip muffins these are the best muffins um you can get whatever you want i want the chocolate chip ones i'm all about the chocolate chip um it's up to you what you want to do for dinner they have like this little bar thing I don't know if Joe wants to cook dinner tonight or not. That's the thing. You go to the grocery store to get groceries so you have stuff to fix. And then you buy stuff. What? No. My phone? No. is the thing back there. They're cooking something. And then you buy something to eat when you get home so you don't have to cook. Anyway, we're going to go and we're going to check out. Um, thanks for hanging out with me on my first trip out since, uh, the broken leg. Look how dirty that's getting. It's disgusting. That's from just riding around. Oh. Hot dogs? I don't want no stinking hot dogs for dinner. I want slaw dogs. What? Slaw dogs. For no. Done. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye, Fun fact. Joe used to be a bad boy. This is the hometown he grew up in. He used to be a bad boy at some store. But if you watch, it drives me nuts. I just put the groceries up on the belt. Not my husband. He organizes things. The cold, look, look, look at The cold food, the canned foods, everything has to be organized, which I guess is nice, especially since they don't have a bag or But I don't have time for that. I'm ready to go. It just takes a sweet old time. Yep. Takes his time. So I show you this little out clip. So I'm having fun at the grocery store. At the grocery store. This is my outing. Until next time talk to you later and I will be putting out a content video of some auction unboxing and our booth. Joe went up to the booth this weekend. Say goodbye.